Hi everyone, my name is Molly with the Coastal Watershed Council. Welcome to our virtual tour, Native Plants of the San Lorenzo River. Let's first talk to an expert. Here's Whitney. She's the Coastal Watershed Council River Scientist. And here we are at the Coastal Watershed Council's Habitat Restoration Site. We've been working here to add new native plants to the riverbank to make it as healthy as it can be. We have over 20 different kinds of plants living in this site. Here you can see a beautiful lupin starting to bloom with these purple flowers. Down here we have some coyote brush that will spread out nice and wide along the riverbank helping to prevent erosion. We work with volunteers and kids just like you to help make this riverbank as healthy as it can be. Thanks Whitney. Now let's take a look around. Take a look at this picture that's following. What do you see? So if you looked closely, you probably saw all these blue flags that were next to all these native plants that our volunteers had planted. Now Whitney talked about how native plants are really important to protecting the river. That's because plants and trees along the banks of the river create habitat and help filter out pollution before it goes into the San Lorenzo River. So now let's learn. Let's get to know some native plants that call the San Lorenzo River home. Let's get to know the arroyo willows first. Willows are tall shrubs that grow along the river. You've probably seen them if you've walked along the San Lorenzo River. Their branches grow over the river, providing shade to keep the water cool. And the insects that live in the branches or on the branches can fall into river and that's food for the fish that live in the river. Next is gumweed. Now the gumweed, does it look like a sunflower? It should because it's very similar to a sunflower. It's in the same family. The yellow flowers, those bright flowers attract butterflies and other pollinators. Just like gumweed, the bright pink flowers of a wild rose also attract pollinators like butterflies and birds and bees. Now pollinators, they pick up the pollen that's inside the plant and they fly to another plant leaving that pollen there. That process helps start the growth or the beginning of a new plant. Now here's black sage. What's great about black sage is that their roots are so strong and deep is that they help to keep the soil in one place. So when there's a big rainstorm, those roots hold the soil and stops the soil from going into the San Lorenzo River. Thanks black sage. And here's our final native plant for today the common yarrow. Now you might notice that there's a lot of little white flowers. That is how we can tell that it's yarrow. Also, if you have a chance to smell it, it smells strong and spicy. And then go ahead and touch it. The leaves feel feathery. So today we got to learn a little bit more about the arroyo willow gumweed, wild rose, black sage, and the common yarrow. It was fun to explore with you today. You can find other virtual tours and lessons at the Coastal Watershed Council website, coastal 
watershed.org. Thank you and see you later. Thank you.